of YouTube, OpenArt has released their latest character feature that allows you to do multiple characters with just a text prompt. Now the way this works is obviously you need to have characters trained already. So I'm going to use two of my characters that I've trained. So you want to go into the left panel and click on character and then select your character from the menu. I'm going to select my character Ryu here and you see that it's highlighted with an at. Now I already have a prompt ready to go, but in the prompt I want to put the second character Lila. So right about here beside him sits Lila. So all you need to do is select add character. From your own character library you want to select your character. You'll see both characters are now enabled and you'll see your second character placed within the prompt box. Now I'm going to replace the location. One thing to point out, auto prompt enhance mode is on. So if you want to turn that off, just click off. I'm going to leave it on for now. And we're going to do an aspect ratio of landscape. We'll go ahead and click create. Now, one thing I do want to call out right away is that remember this is in beta, so it's not perfect. We'll get more into that a little later. Now, if we take a look at the image, for the most part, it's captured all the characteristics of my character, Lila here with her black jacket, with a white stripe sleeve. It's missing a little bit of her purple hair, but everything looks great. We can fix the hands later in in painting. And then we have Ryu here with his jean jacket and hood eating a sandwich. And let's take a look at a couple more. Here's another one where I quite like the interaction where she's laughing. The purple hair comes through quite a bit better. Although it does make them look a bit younger. Now I didn't state the age, but you may still see some slight variances. This one with a slightly different prompt where they're both indoors. Ryu's playing video games. Lila's playing her guitar. Now you can really see that now her hair is more purple and there really isn't any blue. And one of the reasons why that is if we look at the left panel here, you see that there are no options to preserve the character traits or the weight. For example, if I take off Ryu here, you see under the character settings when we're working with just the one character, we have an option for weight and a toggle to preserve key features. Now I did communicate this to the OpenArt team and they did tell me that they'll most likely bring the preserve key features back in. The weight's a little tricky because just the way how things are done in the background, but I'm sure they'll figure it out. Now when it comes to photorealism, it still needs quite a bit of work. So this is Tony, one of my characters, dancing with some random woman. Don't judge the overall image, I just did it really quickly. And this is April, another character that I trained using real photos. And when I use this multiple character feature, this is the result I got. Again, don't mind the hands and stuff, but although the clothing is accurate to April, the likeness of her face kind of goes away. The same thing with Tony, the likeness just isn't there. In a different setting, we see the same thing. The clothing matches pretty well, but the likeness of the faces, obviously it doesn't look like them. So still a bit more work to do there. Now, I do want to point out once again, it is still in beta. They're going to take the feedback that I give them, that you give them, and improve it even more so. The other limitation is that currently it only works with two characters. In a future update, you'll be able to do more than two. Now the fact that you could simply prompt your characters without having to do in-painting or any other tricks is a huge bonus. But if you're into photorealism, you're going to have to wait until they improve it on the next update. But if you're into 2D and 3D characters, as you can see by this example, you can create some very engaging scenes with your characters with very little effort. In fact, these two characters were done just by typing in a description using the character training feature. While it's not perfect at the moment, it's a great step ahead and I'm looking forward to when they really fine tune this in. And we've been told by the OpenArt team that there are gonna be some really cool video features to come in the coming weeks. In the meantime, if you wanna know how to train a consistent character, make sure to check out this video right here.